Hey guys, it's A Bells and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be doing a baddie on a budget makeup tutorial. It's this look right here and all of my makeup is super cheap. It's from the beauty supplies and retail stores and everybody always asks me what I use to do my makeup. So I'm going to show you today. So stay for the slay, you feel me? And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for the video. <music> Okay guys, we're gonna start off with a fresh clean face and then we're gonna do our eyebrows. I'm gonna use an eyebrow pencil I got from the beauty supply that is 99 cents. It is in the color dark brown. Get out of my video! Oh, I can't photo bone. That's what they call it. I didn't even know you knew what that meant. Now we're going to fill in the tail of the brow, make it darker with an eyebrow gel in the color brown. NY091 is the number. I also got this from the beauty supply. And that is two to four dollars. And I'm gonna use a angled uh a angled brush. We're gonna use that. Now I'm going to moisturize me face with some jergens mixed with some coconut lotion, coconut oil lotion, the cocoa butter stuff. And I'm going to use the Pro Girl Concealer, the LA Girl Pro Girl Concealer in Fawn. And that retails for $2.95 to $4. I also got that from the Beauty Supply. And that is 0 0.028 ounces. This brush I'm using to clean up my brows was probably about like 99 cents as well. And I got it from Walmart. And now I'm going to moisturize my face with the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. This is the 0.5 ounce bottle in Nude Glow. And I got this in an Ipsy subscription that I paid $10 a month for. But if you wanted to actually buy the big jar, you would go to Sephora, the 1.7 ounce jar, and that is $49. Now I'm going to spray my face with my Mario Badesco Rose Water that I got from Ulta and that was on sale for $7. And now I'm going to use this horrible beauty blender. <laughs> it was like $2.24 to $5 at the beauty supply, but I would suggest using the triangle sponges that you get in the packs that are like $0.99 cents to $4 and you can get them from like a retail store. <sighs> just get the triangle sponges. Okay, now I'm just going to blend out my concealer with like a little fluffy blending brush and blend until you can't blend no more. Blend until your fingers become numb and your arm feels like it wants to fall off. Blend, bitch, blend. Okay, now I'm going to use the LA Colors. I love makeup contour palette. It is a 0.13 ounces. This is medium deep. C30353 is the number. And I got this at the beauty supply as well. And that retails for about $6. But I'm going to use this contour palette just for like an eyeshadow. Just to add some depth to my eyes for when I put on my eyelashes. But yeah, we're going to blend that in. Now I'm going to use this duo, which used to be a duo, but I also hit pan on that as well. I'm going to use the darkest shade and I'm just going to put that over top to give it a little bit more dimension and color. I'm going to use the 3D24 lashes I also got from the beauty supply. They retailed for $2 and there's also a different pair from like the same brand that look about the same and they're in the, the number W09. And I'm going to use my duo eyelash glue that I got from Ulta. It's the 0.18 ounce and it's three to five dollars. Now I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation and this is in the color bronze. I got this for about nine dollars and I'm going to mix that foundation with my Ruby Kiss Multifunction Foundation in the color medium. The number is KBB02. This retails for eight dollars. This is also from the Beauty Supply and I use this to mix with my LA Girl Pro um, coverage foundation just because I, I'm not like um, doing like a under eye highlight or anything so I wanted my skin to have some kind of like darker tint just because I just like the color it gives my skin when I don't conceal my under eyes and highlights now I'm using the pro girl concealer LA couldn't uh, uh Lord I can't talk now I'm going to use <laughs> the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn again and I'm covering up like little dark spots that I have on my face. I'm going to use this horrible beauty blender again to blend that out. 
guys please get those triangle sponges or get the correct beauty blender now i'm gonna use a flat top kabuki brush to um distribute the foundation that i mixed together earlier on my face i usually use padding motions pad 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 blend 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 and then i take off my head scarf because i don't like like my makeup to not blend in with my edges because it's gonna look weird so yeah make sure you also get your neck because you don't want your neck and your face to be a different color and then i'm gonna use that horrible beauty blender again and then i'm gonna add some of the la pro girl foundation just to kind of lighten up under my eyes and my cheeks a just a little bit now i'm going to use some baby powder i got this from family dollar it's 99 cents to three dollars and I use this because it has no flash black and it's really lightweight. And I just put it on top of that flat foundation brush. I know, fat foundation brush. Yes, that's what I use to um, set my under eyes with the powder. And then I'm going to set my nose as well. And then I'm going to set my forehead. And then I'm going to set right under where I'm going to put my contour and i'm setting these creases by my nose just because they crease really really bad also i am going to blow up my face like a blowfish and i'm going to set my smile lines now i am going to take my slanted contour brush that i have and then i'm going to take my duo palette again that i use for my eyeshadow i'm going to distribute the powder on my cheekbones forehead and then under my double chin that's cute af and now i'm going to use a more defined blending brush and i'm going to use that same duo palette and i'm going to contour my nose now my contour came out super duper harsh so you're going to see me go back in with my flat um kabuki looking brush that i use for my foundation and just blend it out with the foundation that was left over from that brush so it doesn't look as harsh I'm going to blend in the contour that I had on my cheeks with my slanted brush and now I'm going to take this super fluffy blush brush and I'm going to sweep off the excess from when I set under my eyes and all that good stuff. Now I'm going to spray my face with my Mario Badescu again and now I am going to fan my face with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit which I'm going to use for my balm highlight. And um, when you see me put on my highlight, I like to do it when my face is a bit damp because it just makes the highlight come out better. For highlighter, I'm going to use a, another blush brush and I'm going to dip them in all four of the shades in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is the Sun Dipped Palette and I got this from Ulta, but you can also find this at Fashion Mart for $14.95, but I got it from Ulta and it was $38. I'm going to put it on my cheekbones, on my nose, on my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to spray my face again with my e.l.f. setting spray that I got from Walmart. And this is um 2.02 ounces and this retails for $4. And now I'm going to um, fan that setting spray. And now to blend my eyelashes with my lashes I have on, I'm going to use the Mega Volume Wet n Wild Mascara. I also got this from Family Dollar. This retails for $3 to $6. I'm going to use that on my top lashes and my bottom lashes as well. Now I'm going to wipe all the crust and dust off of my lips from the foundation and powders that I've used. And I'm going to line my lips with the same eyebrow pencil that I used for my eyebrows in the color brown. And now I'm going to use this lip gloss I actually got in this super big palette that was like about $10. I'm going to use that and then I'm going to blend it with my um, outline. My grandpa looks like he came to disturb me again. And um, that's it. I just been balling out every season. Know some niggas I left.